On Tuesday, many of the first-time members of the 25th Parliament were welcomed with roses as they were sworn in. 550 new deputies took an oath to the nation as the rate of female deputies reached 18% for the first time in Turkey's history. The number of female legislators was 14% in the previous parliament. The governing Justice and Development Party, otherwise known as the AK Party, leads with 41 female deputies, while the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party, or HDP, ranks second with 32. While the Secular Republican People's Party, or CHP, follows with 21 female deputies. The least number of female deputies comes from the right-wing Nationalist Movement Party, with only four candidates. There are a total of 98 female deputies in the parliament. Ankara deputy Lutfiya Selva Cham from the governing AK party was the first deputy to take an oath at the parliament while wearing a headscarf. The headscarf ban was issued to women in state institutions after the military coup of 1980 and was lifted by the AK party in 2013. Cham's pledge recalled a bitter memory which took place 16 years ago when then Virtue Party deputy Merve Kavakçı, who was elected to the parliament, was booed for wearing a headscarf and forced to leave the parliament before taking an oath. Her sister, AK Party deputy Ravza Kavakcı, took an oath during the ceremony wearing the headscarf that her sister wore 16 years ago. Leaving such poignant memories behind, the parliament now has 21 headscarf deputies, of whom 18 come from the AK Party and 3 from the HDP. Throughout its history, Turkey has only had 24 members of parliament from the country's minority groups. Between the years of 1964 and 1995, Turkey had no representation in the parliament from its minorities. Following the June 7th election, seven minority lawmakers entered the parliament from all parties except the Nationalist Movement Party. The first Yazidi deputy in the parliament, HDP's Feleknas Uja, took her oath in Turkish despite not knowing the language. <laughs> Also, HGP's Aure deputy, Leila Zana, who once received criticism for partially pledging in Kurdish back in 1991, took the oath in Turkish in her second swearing into the parliament. In the meantime, CHP's Antalya deputy, Deniz Baykal, who entered the parliament as the youngest minister in 1974, administered the pledge ceremony as the acting parliament speaker as he is currently the eldest member. 